Hey guys, Jolly from True Form Therapies. I've had a few clients lately, especially my wife, Caitlin, <laughs> um, that have had some issues with squatting, especially more the back squats, uh, where it really puts a lot of load through your spine, especially your lumbar spine, if you have, if you have had some, some disc issues through there or some chronic lower back pain. So I'm gonna try and give you guys some variations of squatting that won't load up your spine, especially that's, that's a cervical spine, that C7, which will then uh, obviously compress that lower aspect as well. So I'll give you some, um, some squatting variations, some front squat variations, some belt squat variations, and also as well a hex bar um, variation, all of which, like I said, won't load your lower back, won't load your spine. Um, so hopefully can keep you uh, working out in the gym um, without hurting that lower back. So um, yeah, give them a try. So the first one we're gonna go through is called a goblet squat. So you just get your kettlebell, holding it nice and close to your chest, pulling those elbows in, and having a nice, uh, depending on what your stance is, I'm gonna have a fairly wide set to get more uh, glutes and abductors and drive those knees out. Looking at the depth, make sure we get at least parallel or below, depending on what your, your mobility is. And that won't load that lower back up too much, not loading up your spine. And that's our goblin squat. So our next variation is gonna be a front squat, just a barbell front squat, so getting your barbell, whacking it up, having a traditional stance, so it's a bit heavier and you struggle with uh, mobility through the shoulders, triceps, especially in your lats, you can do a cross arm, which I normally prefer. And then the same kind of thing applies, dropping down. Your depth is obviously dictated by your mobility. Up and down. And that's our bad boy front squat. Uh, so our next one's gonna be a elevated uh, kettlebell squat, which is very, very easy. Um, it just allows you to get a little bit higher of, of weight in comparison to a goblet squat. Normally with a goblet squat, uh, you might be nice and strong through the legs but the arms have to struggle with the load. So in that, in that case, if that's you, you can go heavier, then I suggest you do uh, this variation. So getting a kettlebell, having benches or blocks um, around shoulder width apart, grabbing onto your bell, and then your range, once again, is dictated by your mobility, and that bell can go below the blocks, allowing you to get the full range of motion of your squat. Easy. So our next variation is going to be our belt squats, which are a great variation, once again, for deloading your spine. Um, but if, you were, if you're trying to do, once again, a little bit heavier again, these are fantastic. So all you need is a belt, a strap, a chain, ideally as well, and some, uh, and some plates. And you whack on the plate. Once again, the same with the benches. So legs on the side of the bench, and that plate can just go in between, and then you go just straight down. So very, very straightforward. And like I said before, the great thing about the belt squat is it's quite easy to, uh, to progress the weight and really incorporate a fair bit of load through there as well. And because we aren't using our hands at all, we aren't grabbing onto any weights, um, it's a lot easier to add some plate. All right, so the last we're gonna do is gonna be our trap bar squats, but an elevated trap bar squat uh, on either a bench or we're using to be using some blocks. Um, now why they're good in comparison to a normal trap bar dead, um, sorry, trap bar squat, is the fact that you're gonna get full range of motion. So when you're normally doing it on, a, on the ground with the, with the trap bar, obviously, you're not gonna get that full range of motion. So when you're doing it on a platform, you can go to parallel or, or, or beyond. So it allows you to get uh, more range of motion and get, uh, giving you a truer squat, um, therefore getting a better load through your quads and through your glutes. So hopping onto a platform, hopping onto your trap bar, and because the weights are going either side of the platform, we can go into full range of motion. And we aren't going to load too heavily or compress that spine. Cool. So there's um, squatting variations without loading your spine up um, with the bar on your back. So get those to go. Any questions, please feel free to give me a call.